Getting that much closer to perfect. It's harder for others to see you in the dark. The Grease Monkey's Mekton is built sturdy, just like himself. Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. You make piloting this big metal thing look easy. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Back to your own stompers. Everyone's going to hear you're coming. Heroes inspire in a way nothing else can. Bonsoir. 
in more. Dear. Let's see. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Dear. Says he's a monster haunter. The best you'll ever see. Over, boo -boo. Ah. Mook says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Out there with the monsters, it's kill or be killed. Which will it be for you? It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. When it comes to monsters, he mostly picks who dies. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Get... Says they keep the monsters away. He needs them closer, not farther. He's not sure of... Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters. Says as big as they are, the world is bigger. To find where they are, you need to see where they've been. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. Thinks you have bigger issues than your so-called haunting skills if you're going to nitpick on his grammar. It's so much brighter without the night. Keep on walking. Wait, it's the Squip hole up. Place is just filled with critters.
far underground do you think you are? Stay away from that biohazard, you'll want to wash yourself off for a month. Bolted shut. Once the volatization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. If a story is about you, care for it. You're maybe not sure you want to leave. Yeah. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there.
got it. Good one. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left, make them count. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Where would you like to take this metallomech?
you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? the guidance system. Put that thing behind you. He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. Well, I value by you. It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You'll need the Mecton to do the job, take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff there are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. It's already quite sturdy, but upgrading it will greatly improve your chances of victory. You need to help Gizmo defeat the Jumbo Puff before it destroys the West Route. You and the Jagni tribe share ideals and that's a risk. True balance requires equal parts of opposites. <laughs> Says talking to you was interesting. <laughs> Gizmo wants to help if he can. <laughs> Been watching you and loves how you don't care about anyone but yourself. Sit up. Says you should be careful when heading out. There's been trouble with Wastelanders recently. <laughs> Understands completely. <laughs> Gizmo wants to help if he can. You need to help Gizmo defeat the Jumbo Puff before it destroys the West Route. Wonders why you're wandering around in the day when all your enemies can find you. Says you'll see each other later. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Says you'll see each other later. 